Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Can polyps cause infertility and can removal of polyps be done? How is it possible to increase your chance of pregnancy if polyps are removed? To understand this question, let's try to understand the structure of the uterus. The uterus has an outer layer called the peritoneum, the inner layer called the myometrium and the innermost layer called the endometrium. Endometrium is very important for the implantation of the embryo and the growth of the fetus occurs inside in the endometrium. When there are growths inside the endometrium, muscular growths, they are called as polyps. Why polyps occur? Nobody has been able to identify as yet. Research has not been able to disclose why polyps occur in the uterus or the increase in the levels of estrogen can also make them larger. What are the symptoms of polyps? There could be heavy bleeding. There could be bleeding between two periods. There could be pain during bleeding. All these symptoms can be indicative that you may be having polyps in the endometrium. Polyps can definitely cause infertility, but the most important factor to remember are what is the size of the polyp? Is it too large? Is it occupying a substantial area of the endometrium? Is a very important question to look at. What is the number? Are there too many? Are they very small or are they very large? These are things that we need to understand. What is the number of polyps which are present inside the endometrium? The next is the location. Location plays a very critical role. If it is present at in the tubes or outside the tubes where it is blocking the tubes, whereby the sperms are not able to enter the tubes and fertilize the egg, then it is very critical that we address the situation and increase your chance of pregnancy. How do we diagnose polyps? Mostly by ultrasonography. Ultrasonography is done to see if there are any polyps present and large polyps are usually detected by that. If not detected, a saline ultrasonography might be performed by which a saline solution is passed in, the endometrium swells up and we can see if there are any polyps present inside the uterus. The most important and the most efficient way of finding out if polyps are present is hysteroscopy. Hysteroscopy is where a small camera is passed into your uterus and seen if there are any polyps present. It's a very important procedure because in the same sitting they can either be cut off or they can be cauterized as in a small electric pulse can be given and small polyps can be removed in such a way. When polyps are removed definitely they do not come back in the same space but this is not to assure that new ones will not be formed. They do bring down infertility and removal of polyps has been shown to increase your fertility potential. This has been done through IVF studies where uh, embryos were transferred into the uterus after polyps were removed thereby increasing the success rate. If you have been diagnosed with having polyps or you want to understand more about how to increase your success rate after removing polyps, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.